Good morning. If we look at the Aseris Adibris, the Ten Commandments, which is in this week's parsha, we see that it's divided in half. First is half is between God and the Jewish people. Second half is for man to man. How to act like a human being, like a nice Jew. Don't do harm. Want another. Don't think about any other people's wives. Don't get involved. But we see one thing is mind boggling. Kabed Esa Vicha Vesimecha. The man yalichun yamecha, give honor to your father and mother, in order that you should have long life, is in the first half. What is going on over here? So, the idea behind it is that, that having honor for your father and mother is min and it's also ben adam la makayim we say there are three shutfim in the creation of a child the father the mother and god We know that the people in the earlier generations of Noyach, Adam and Yishe Noyach, before Avram, they said the stars and moon and sun are servants of God. They give us food because there are certain things that grow because of the moon, so certain things that grow because of the sun. Let's bow down to them. And that's what happened. They made them a god. Or any human being that they made God. That is pure Avedizara. So if you give honor to your father and mother, maybe you should also, uh, there should be something over here that you're considering them as God. And that's why you have to honor him. But the idea is no. One difference we can say is that the stars and moon have no, no, they have no mind of their own. They don't have free choice. They're like an axe in the hand of a person. No free choice. They cannot decide when to shine or when not to shine. They can't decide anything. It's God that does it. And that's the difference. A human being has Bechira, has freedom of choice. He can choose to unite with his wife in order to give birth to a child. He can choose not. But he does it. And he has a child. He has Bechir Chavshis, freedom of choice. According to some people, it says that if the parent sustains the child, takes care of the child, and by, uh, by having Honor for your father will make you have honor for God too.
and that is one way. But towards the end, it is God that created the child. And the reason for that is, is because it can be a very healthy person and uh, nothing wrong with him. And God forbid he won't have a child. Because that has nothing to do with the person. It's only God. And that's why we have, we have fear of God. Fear of, when we have honor of a father, we're honoring our we're honoring God also. And that is because the Erdein Sof, the Koyach of unlimitedness, infinite Koyach that's given into the person which gives him the Koyach to be able to give and have a child. That's the Koyach of Ein Sof. And that's the reason when you have honor of God, you have, you have honor of, of your parents, you have honor of God also. So that is the real mitzvah of Kibbut of the aim, that it is Ben Adam La Mokoim. Ben Adam La Mokoim, it's a mitzvah that has to do with God. The other people which uh, decided to go uh, against God, that they, um, they, de they decided to go against God, they said, wait a second, he only wants for his own self-dignity, his own honor, and therefore we're going to give to the, to the, uh, uh, to the stars and moon also, because they, they also help out. Until he came to Aserah Sedibris, it says, So we see that he cares also for the other people, for people too. And that's how we are, Mikhaim the Mitzvah, Kibbut of the Aim. Kibbut of the Aim, it's the Koyach Ha'in Sof, in the Koyach Ha'in Sof, in the father and mother which can create a child. So the Eib Shesha help. Since we are a child to God, let him bring us back to his table. Because as long as we are in Golas, we are like a child which was kicked off the father's table. So the Abish should help that uh, we should return to our table of the Shreda Abar and the Vyasan, take it from Yad Mamish now. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, and teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. And if you ever think that you cannot have honor for your father, it's, an, it's a mitzvah. Ben Adam Lamakim. Because your father and parents have the Koyachein Soif to be moiled, to have a child.